Hey everyone, welcome back to Eight Nights of Storytime with me, Miss Gina. Today is the fourth night of Hanukkah, and we are going to read Hanukkah Lights Everywhere by Michael J. Rosen. Uh, you might remember we read this one last year, but I thought it would be fun to read it again. Uh, this is a book that has a kitty on almost every page, so it's really fun to try and find them. So here we have it on the second page, and you can look and try to find them on almost all the pages in this story. On the night before Hanukkah, we ready the house for company. My sister helps Dad make up the extra beds, and Mom peels apples for the applesauce. I put a new box of candles by the menorah but that's waited all year, just like me, for the Festival of Lights. On the first night of Hanukkah, we say the prayers and light one candle with a tall helper candle. Outside, the skinny moon beams like a proud candle flame against the dark sky. There it is. On the second night of Hanukkah, two headlights aim right through the window into the living room where my sister and I spin the dreidel on the floor. <gasps> Grandpa's here! On the third night of Hanukkah, I switch on the lamps out front so that my cousins who are coming to visit can find our door. And suddenly there are three more lights, just like in our menorah. Wow! Let's see what they're doing on the fourth night. Just tonight. On the fourth night of Hanukkah, I find four lights in the kitchen. Mom fries up platters full of latkes, and four flames flicker under the sizzling skillets and the pot steaming on the stove. Wow! There are four lights and guess what there are four kitties on this page look at that are you having latkes for hanukkah i am this weekend and i'm very excited on the fifth night of hanukkah my great grandma gives me five shiny silver dollars one for every birthday i've had when i line them up on my hand they stretch from my tippy top fingertip past my wrist and all the way up my arm they sparkle like five more lights in the candles glow on the sixth night of Hanukkah, my family takes a walk down the snow-covered streets. And guess what? Six other houses have menorahs gleaming in their windows. <gasps> Can you spot all the menorahs in the windows? And also some of the kitties in the windows, too? We've got a lot. We have one, two, three, four, five, six menorahs, and one, two, three kitties. Maybe that's a fourth one on the roof. And it looks like somebody's ears are over there, too. <gasps> and six. Look, there's somebody's walking a kitty. Just like they're walking a dog. On the seventh night of Hanukkah at my best friend's house, where he celebrates Christmas, a lamp with just one bulb bur burns in each window. Seven altogether, just like in our menorah tonight. Dad says that Hanukkah is also about the joy of different religions sharing a street. On the eighth night of Hanukkah, I find all seven stars in the Big Dipper, plus the famous North Star above us, as though God, too, were lighting his own menorah in the sky. And on the ninth night, which isn't even Hanukkah anymore, and the next night after that, and even today, I still see things that remind me of our menorah. And I think about Hanukkah and about being Jewish in such a wide world of so many other lights. The end. The ninth night of Hanukkah, if you remember from our story yesterday, the ninth night of Hanukkah can almost make you, you could be its own holiday if you want, and they called it Shamash night in the book we read yesterday. Uh, but this was a really fun one. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit quicker than the other ones we've done, but hopefully that's a nice break for you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!